I'm so tapped up, and if you're like most people, you probably don't like ads very much. So maybe when you play a Bistream, you get annoyed at how many ads you gotta watch, or maybe you're just wondering, what's the best way to spend your time regarding the ads? So, the good news is that most of the ads are in fact total garbo. Um, there's really only two ads that you should ever watch. First and absolutely most awful ad is when you get um, your idle vitality, it offers to double it for watching an ad. Never do that. Idle Vitality is trash. As soon as you've gotten Song of the Moon, um, you just do not need your Idle Vitality at all because Idle Vitality is capped at two hours. And you will pretty much instantly... Let me, let me show you how I can get more than two hours worth of Idle Vitality. Okay, I'm done. Um, if you have Song of the Moon and Delicious Food and you use them in the order that I did, you will get significantly more Vitality pretty much no matter what than uh, your idle vitality. So the idle vitality gains, I honestly wish you could turn that off. It is basically a complete waste of your time. Um, in a very similar vein of time waste, this free vitality in the shop here, um, that is also based on coral vitality. If you take a quick look here, you will see that it is actually just slightly over one second's worth of idle vitality while Song of the Moon is active. It is, it is like I said, Garbo. Um, I also don't recommend these paid ones, but that's out of scope. The only two good ads in the game really are this Get Free Gems and Recharge Skill. I would say the Recharge Skill by far is the most important one. Um, so what about the chest, you ask? Uh, the chest is basically a less consistent way to get 30 gems. Um, you you have about a 30% chance to get 30 gems, so it's effectively 10 time or 10 gems per go, which means it's basically the same as getting gems directly. So unless you have a mighty need for as many gems as fast as possible, just keep watching the free gems in the store, and you'll get gems more consistently for uh, less time. It's uh, really not worth the chest, and the, the the other the vitality you get from the chest is, again, it's based on Coral Vitality, it is Garbo. I'm sorry, Coral is Garbo, if you did not know. I don't even bother claiming these things anymore. Coral, other than very early in the game, it's it's just total trash. Um, if you're past, or even anywhere close, Z Vitality, or honestly, if you have, um, if you've had Starhorn Coral for more than a day, uh, odds are your Coral Vitality is completely worthless, so that's good to keep in mind. The best way to get vitality by far is just Song of the Moon, delicious food. And for that reason, our best ad watch is in fact recharging the skills because instead of every two hours or one hour, in my case if you have Glowing Conch maxed out, you can get use your skills and that way you get basically every 15 minutes by watching that ad, you would get drastically more vitality than you would get watching um, waiting two hours and watching that one ad for uh, double idle vitality. So yeah, pretty much that's all you need to do. Though early on, watching ads does give you the achievements up here. So it's not it's not too big a deal to watch a few more ads than you would personally like to, at least early on. But personally, if you're playing actively, always, always, always do that recharge skill. As soon as your Song of the Moon runs out, and um, always watch, get those gems. If you need gems, um, you know, it's basically impossible to run out of things to spend gems on. Even if you spend, um, somebody mathed it out, even if you buy both, if you pay $200 on the two Supreme packages, it's still not enough to max out 100% of the skills. Um, it's basically, you'll never max out all of the skills, I'm sorry. So only worry about getting your skills up to level 11. Um, for the first three skills, because that is what um, activates. Uh, that unlocks a certain hidden fish, Bowmouth Guitar Fish, if I'm recalling correctly. So yeah, that's what you need to know to watch as few ads as possible in Abystrium. And uh, keep everything efficient. Hope that helps.